everyone welcome to automation community today in this video we are going to discuss an example in which we will control three machines using a single push button so let's look at the example first example 25 when switch is turned on and then turned off then machine one will be on and then when it when switch is turned on and then turned off then machine one will be off and machine two will be on and then when switch is turned on and then turned off then machine two will be off and machine three will be on so there is a single push button when it is <clears throat> first time pressed and released machine one gets on and then when it is second time pressed and released machine one gets off and machine two gets on and then when it is third time pressed and released machine two becomes off and machine three turns on so for this example we will use normally open contacts and normally close contacts. We will be also using some memory bits and implementing some logic gates like OR, AND, and we will be also implementing latching. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So this is the interface of TI portal. Firstly, we will go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. We have only one input that is push button. And then we have some outputs like machine one. So this is an output. So its address will start with Q and then 0.0. .0. And then we have two more machines, machine 2 and machine 3. So their address will be Q0.1 and Q0.2. And then we will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be trying a ladder logic for this example. So firstly, we will insert a normally open contact for push button. And then I will insert a coil for machine one. So this will be machine one. And then I will add it here so that when it is released, machine one still remains on. I will open the branch, add a normally open contact, and then close the branch. So this will be machine one. And then when the push button is released and machine one is on then a memory bit gets through and this memory bit will be m0.0 .0. this is when push button is pressed and machine one is on then m0.0 .0 gets through and we will latch it here i will open the branch at a normally open contact and connect it like this so this will be M0.0. .0. And then when M0.0 .0 is true and push button is once again pressed, then a memory bit gets on. So this is M0.0. .0. Sorry, M0.0. .0. And then this is push button. When it is once again pressed, then Another memory bit gets through that is M0.1 and this will be last here. Open the branch, then add a normally open contact and then close the branch. So this will be M0.1. And then when M0.0 .0 gets through and push button is released, then machine 2 gets on. So this is M0.1 and this is when push button is released then machine 2 gets on. Machine 2 gets on. And also when M0.1 gets to then machine 1 gets off. So here we will use a normally close contact for M0.1. And then 
when once again when this uh, m0.1 is true and and then i will insert a normally close contact for push button so so this is m 0.1 magnet 2 is on and switches released that is push button is released <coughs> Then another memory bit gets to, I will insert a coil and that coil will be M0.3, sorry, M0.2 and then we will latch it here. Open the branch, add a normally open contact and then close the branch. So this will be M0.2. And then when push button is again pressed, again pressed and this M0.2 is true, then another memory bit gets through so this is m sorry this is push button it's once again pressed and with that m0.2 is true then again one more memory bit m0.3 gets through and we will latch it here so i will open the branch add a normally open contact and then close so this will be M0.3 and this M0.3 we used here as normally open contact and M0.3 gets through then machine 3 gets on so this is M0.3 and this is machine 3 with that when M0.3 gets through machine 2 should get off so we'll use a normally close contact here for M0.3. So when push button is first time pressed and released, machine 1 gets on, and when it is second time released, machine 2 gets on, and machine 1 gets off, and when it is third time pressed and released, M0.3 gets through, which in turn will make machine 3 on, but it will turn off machine 2. I will start the simulation here. After that, let's start CPU, OK, and then start monitor. And after that, I will switch to project view here. Let's create a new project here, and let's wait for some time. So I will go to simulation table, simulation table 1 and then right click here and load project tax. So now when push button is pressed and released then machine 1 gets on <clears throat> with that this M0.0 gets through and which will turn M0.1 when push button is second time pressed and released. So when it is second time pressed, M0.1 gets true. And when M0.1 gets true, this push button is released. So this M0.2 gets true. And when M0.2 gets true, here machine 2 gets on. This M0.1 gets true and when M0.1 gets true, machine 2 gets on, but M0.1 
breaks the uh, circuit here, which in turn will make machine one off. And then this M0.2 is true here. And then when push button is again pressed, when it is again pressed, M0.3 gets true and which in turn will turn off the machine 3 and if it is released, machine 3 still remains on. But this M0.3 here will turn off machine 2. So when push button was pressed and released, machine 1 gets on. And then when it is second time pressed, machine 2 gets on and machine 1 gets off. And when it is third time pressed and released, machine 3 gets on and machine 2 gets off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.